Namde Kano was right. British High Commission, Katina Langi is a devil. Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. According to Katina Lang, she was caught saying that the presidential election was fascinating. She was caught saying that the electoral act was fascinating and in Nigeria should be proud of it. She said this about presidential election and for this the so-called APC government collaborated with their Yoruba tribalistic or should I say some of Yoruba tribal, tribalized youth to massacre innocent Hebrew youth in Lagos. This is because British government and their expired high commission that is called Katina Land has offered Nigerian people nothing but corruption, criminality. Togre. Inhumanity to man. Fake country. This high commissioner, or should I say, expired high commissioner, said this because. It was not her relation or children that was killed. This was what Mazen Namde Kano continued to hit at you. He told you that the British government and Katina Lang, their so called High Commission, are criminally minded. They are evil, incarnate, doing everything possible. To destroy the innocent youth of Biafra and the so called Nigeria at large. What were you expecting? This same Katina Liang was the person that visited the Wiki and he murdered thousands and thousands of Obibu youth while some of their guests were raped by. Fulani soldiers. This same Katina Lango visited Bolatinibu and the Lekki and South Protesters were more down. To date, they are busy accusing Mazen Nam the Colonel of what he did not do. This same Katina Lang, the so called High Commission, gave orders to people like Tinibu, Femi Kayode. And the so called Inek Chairman Yakub to do anything possible to wreak the election in the favor of Bolat Nibu. This M. Katina Lange collaborated with British government to add that thing in Asso Rock to continue to keep Nam the Kano in DSS custody. Because they knew what would have happened as human the colonel was out. Broadcasting before this useless share of election happened. He would not have liked to have to threaten anybody with the way the Igbos have been massacred in Lagos State, attacked in Lagos State by now, you'd have seen something else. This was one of those things why they kidnapped him. They made their plan before the election came because they know that things like this will happen. Katina Liang is nothing but a door. She
she called the lesson fascinating. She called the blood innocent people shed fascinating. I told you people that since after the end of NSAS protest, have you seen anything tangible come out from it? The answer is no. This is because British government will do everything possible to make sure they continue to keep you down. Know that there are some Yorubas who personally they want this country change. They are tired. But at the same time, I have to say it. 60% of them are tribalistic. In Igbo land, things like this can't happen. Igbos will not keep quiet. Why Yorubas who are in their land are more than by one useless thought and their collaborators. Whom, of course, we know that even the leaders of Yoruba land added them in the atrocities. Let me be straightforward here. Not all leaders. Or should I say, criminally minded politicians of Yoruba land, especially the ones that reside in Lagos. Because if I say leaders, it looks somehow because people like Afani Ferry are not part of these atrocities going on. And so many people are also not part of this. So I cannot say leaders because as far as I'm concerned, Afani Ferry are the leaders of the Yoruba people. But the truth must be told that 60% of Yoruba are tribalistic. Things like this cannot happen in Nibola land. The Yoruba man being matched because he won election because he wanted to vote for his best candidate. This was why Masin and the Kano told the Igbos that Nigeria is not for you. We purposely allow you to go on and do this vote so that people will not accuse the gentleman who has been in DSX custody for two years Accuse his security outfit of having hand in the disrupted election in Igbo land. Well, they don't know anything about it. That was why we continued to hit on a non government created by these governors to destroy our agitation. The truth must be told. Katrina Lang is evil, British government is evil. Bola Ahmed the Tinibu is a criminally minded drug peddler whom has de destroyed Nigeria. Near some wicked <laughs> that is just like a, a fly who doesn't hear, who can't hear, who has refused to hear. One day he will follow dead bodies to grief. Yeah. Go and mark it one place. And that day, the wife will not have mouth to cry. Because she has added him in all the atrocities he has committed in River State. Igbo should wake up. They should go back home and maintain their land. They should go back home and they established. They have large portions of market everywhere. Not only in Onosha. They have some lands apart from market, big market in Abba. They have other large land. That can be constructed, and the, they can do that. For they we are the ones who build the same market, and they, they, they are now using the Lagos that the some Yorubas, let me put it that way, are so greedy and they lazy to take over their properties. They should lock up their properties, make sure that the documents are with them, original document of it. They should go back home and repair the land. If they repair the land, someone like us with Dokubo will not have mouth to insult Mas and the Kano. Somebody with, with, like us with Dokubo will not have mouth. A dumb, a frog in the creek that I used to know will not have mouth to say P to be regulation. Somebody like Wiki will not have the audacity 
to insult the Igbos. If you don't know, know it now. I was very ashamed that Hanese get rise up and went to River State to ask Wicke. Was it true that uh, you you rigged P to B out from River State? Was it true that uh, you were against P to B? That I was very very ashamed seeing people that call themselves Hanese that people were supposed to eminate. Go through such humiliation, disgrace. For them it is not, but for me it is. I am a man who put the things in the way it is. To ask a new entity, a new body. Because Peter Adderley was so careless to bring such a person. Or should I say a major to bring such a person to rule River State. And today he believed that he is a wager. He can do anything and go through with it. But like I said, he's just like a fly who could not hear or listen. And later on, he ended up in graveyard with dead bodies. Go and mark it one place. He will end up that way. We should set it in the way it is. Katina Lang has caused so much problem in Nigeria. Look at Igbo boys. How they were caught with cutlass and gum wound everywhere, bullet wound in hospital. And believe me, all those people, none of them were arrested. Police were there watching. I've told you several times that police are the enemies of Igbos. Police are the enemies of Nigerians. Soldiers are the enemies of Igbos. Soldiers are the enemies of Nigerians. All those things that happen in Yoruba land, these are gone. Being shot at Igbos. Police, soldier, could not do anything. If really they want to conduct a real election, a respectable and free and fair election, normally, in a respectable country, both soldiers are supposed to be somewhere. They're supposed to announce it. Soldiers who work with the Labour Party, soldiers who work with PDP, soldiers who work with every different party that we contest in that election, the same numbers will be allocated to each polling unit to monitor the election. And those soldiers will be brought out by several parties. And the, the, it will be announced. People will go to the polling unit. They will be aware that so so things are in the polling unit. And we are going to vote. The people that believe so much in the Nigerian election. This is a simple thing that the Buhari government should have done. If fully they want to. God, he believes in fair and fair election. But all this amansi. Buhari did was to tell you that he doesn't want Nigeria to be rebuilt. All he needs is bloodshed every day. Even as he was going out, he's going out, I mean, he continued to recruit people who are going to continue to share the blood of innocent Nigerians. It's quite a shame. There's many ways to conduct a free and fair election. In a large country like Nigeria. It's true that soldiers are not complicit to the crimes going around. It's true that soldiers are complicit to everything. Including the police. But all they needed to do is for people, different parties, to organize soldiers and police that they trusted. And they put them in different polling units. They will be examined by Nigerian police, head of police and soldiers, and the so-called chief of defense. And they will be there in pulling it. And people will announce it so that people will not be afraid. Some people, because there are some people who are so much afraid when they see the presence of police or soldiers especially. This was how things supposed to be. Since Nigeria has turned to zoo, where everything must be forced. Then, by doing that, you will see how people will come to their normal polling unit, vote without fear, and they will leave. And the election counted, posted into the beaver machine. Then it would the iron. Something that they have refused to do. But because 
Buhari government had criminal minded. They, even the police they, post, they posted to go there. Where they are watching why so many atrocities are going on. Why they match at Hibos, why they shot at Hibos. And someone will tell me it's because of uh, uh, APC. Why didn't such thing happen in the north? I've asked this question several times. Why didn't this thing happen in the north? Your boss, some of them have so much hatred at Hibos. In fact, if you don't want, we want to know now that Nigeria against Hibos today is because of your boss, leaders. They are politicians. And let me not say leaders. Because as far as you are concerned, the leaders we see today are people like Avani Ferry. And they have done their best in trying to stop all these evil people from doing all sorts of rubbish. Even though I know some of your leaders may be pretending why things continue to go wrong. Let us be sincere here. It's not only your leaders, even in Igbo land, the leaders does that. But the thing is that youth has never allowed them to use them to go after under ethnicity. That is the thing. But in Europe land, the Lagos, such has continued to happen. I don't really have more to say. I only say now the colonel told you he warned you that Nigeria is not for the boys. Time has come for you to go home and repair your land. J. Piafra.